Hello students, welcome to EPG Patasala. I am Dr. K. R. Ram Mohan, Associate Professor, Head Department of Anthropology, Sikkim University. Today we are going to talk a module on feminism in anthropology. This module is from the paper Theories and Methods in Social and Cultural Anthropology. So before we go to this module, let us see what are the learning objectives. To able to define the concept and the characteristics of feminism in anthropology. To probe into the emergence of feminist anthropology. To determine the identity of impact of a feminist theory on mainstream disciplinary development of anthropology to able to define the major contemporary anthropological theories which analyzes the status of women and men in society. So in the past several years, feminist anthropologists, anthropologists who take much theoretical orientations towards feminism, feministic understanding and feministic research methods into anthropological ethnographic works are considered to be as feminist anthropologists, sociologists and the social historians have produced a lot of literature on women's issues or what we call women's studies. So all the contribution from the research work particularly on women in all the societies are both feminist and anti-feminist is a long rumination on the question of what is the nature and the genesis of women's oppression and the overall social subordination in most of the societies in the world. Why women were oppressed as a class, as a gender and why they are, what is this social subordination? Though women contribute immensely to the overall aspects of the society. So these scholars were interested to see women as a class, women as a group and their oppression and their social status. This question is not a trivial one. It requires a lot of understanding as whether this is realistic to hope for a sexually egalitarian society. The biggest question confront us, is there any society or what makes a society sexually egalitarian, that there is no distinction between men and women, both are equal, despite there is some biological variations and physical incapabilities. What it makes to be a completely sexually egalitarian society? We all know that women are the backbone of wide range of social activities in any part of the society like it could be rural or urban and the question is that how can we improve their living conditions, the student movements, feminist activity and movements for human rights land reclamations and, and many issues which confront this whole anthropological investigation. Feminist anthropology as a critique to the mainstream anthropology or understanding of the society from a gender perspective first came into scene only about fairly recently particularly in the mid 1970s and slowly 
it got attention by many scholars and some are scholar activists which they want to formulate some strategies for long term persisting social injustice meted towards women. So, feminist anthropology is not a, a simple way of or investigation about only the inequality of women, but it has lot of methodological understanding and it has taken the four field approach of anthropology. Name it archaeology, biology, cultural and even linguistic. And try to seek to reduce the male bias in research findings and research understandings under the anthropological hiring practice where the whole production of knowledge about the society. The basic question is by the feminist anthropological scholars is that the entire anthropological knowledge, entire anthropological literature entire anthropological understanding has been produced by male ethnographers. So, if male ethnographers have produced, to what extent the report of women's issues is correct? In what way they have correctly recorded women's lived experiences? So, the whole field of feminist anthropology is a reaction towards otherwise called the perceived androcentric bias, male centric production of knowledge which they call it as bias. So, before we go broadly into the feminist, feminist anthro scholars or feminism in anthropology or feminist anthropology, let us understand the basic terms of feminism and feminist which long ago appeared in France and even in Netherlands and Great Britain. So, there are other related words like women's rights which also closely related to a feminist understanding. So, according to Janet Richards, the essence of feminism as a strong fundamental case intended to mean only that there are excellent reasons for thinking that women suffer from systematic social injustice because of their sex. The proposition is to be regarded as constituting feminism. So, what we understand by this definition? So, it is understood that women as a social class, women as a gender group have been suffering systematic social injustice since time immemorial in most of the societies and this called for some kind of a critical engagement to look into these conditions and perhaps that could be the origin for feminist thinking or feminist argument. So, feminism is a complex notion that has vast differences in meaning and connotation across spanning generations, ethnic identities, sexual orientation, nationality and many more identities. Feminism or feministic understanding is not just some kind of a reaction to androcentric understanding. It has good theoretical base and it has been spreading with a lot of research studies and literature into many subfields within the feministic thinking as cultural feminism, eco-feminism, individualist or libertarian feminism, material feminism 
and there are associations and bodies for national organization of women radical feminism amazon feminism and separatists so it is just not a body of knowledge it has theoretical insights it has an approach to study women's issues across all cultures so what is this approach or what is this perspective when we say that this is a feminist theory and feminist perspective or approach so feminist theory is most concerned with giving a voice to women and highlighting the various ways women have contributed to society which have been undermined by the opposite gender the significant contributions made by women which are unnoticed which have not been highlighted which have been repressed despite their significant contribution the real under subordination why it is happening so this theoretical orientation starts with this fundamental question which address their grievances and there are many societal differences between men and women men are allowed women are not allowed men have this status women do not have this status why what makes this gender inequality within a society is it because of the gender difference gender difference perspective examines how women's location experience and the social situations differ from men men have a different social disposition women have different social disposition men's experience women's experience how men are placed how women are placed in a given society in a given culture in a given religion for that matter and along with this we have the gender identity which refers one psychological sense of oneself that i am male i am female or i am something else i am so and so the third gender or something like that so what makes this gender identity who has given this gender identity is it individual or is it a societal identity given to us that you are a male that she is a female or is it just biologically disposition because of biological disposition you are male or you are female or you are some other gender again another aspect of in feminist understanding is gender roles gender role refers to the socially constructed and culturally specific behavior and expectations for women one has to be masculine one has to be feminine and gender roles are categorical roles men do this women do this boys do this girls do this boys are not supposed to be doing girls work girls are not supposed to be doing the boys work so our roles are fixed by the society based on our gender or based on our biological disposition so this is basically a heteronormativity at one side you are male the other side there is female completely hetero opposites if there is a continuum you are here and she is there and the gender roles are being ascribed because of this heteronormativity men are supposed to do this women are supposed to do this and there should be no vice versa so gender expression refers to the behavior or physical appearance that a person utilizes in order to express this gender and this is something which we have to also overlapping with gender roles being understanding this the whole little concepts of what is gender identity and gender roles 
Let us see what kind of oppressions that are being taking place in general in many societies. The individual attitudes and actions that reflect prejudice against a social group. Males are prejudiced towards females and females are prejudiced towards males. And oppressions can also come under institutional oppressions like policies which are designed, the laws which are prevalent towards based on gender, rules, norms, various customs enacted by organizations and social institutions. This is giving disadvantage to most of the social groups and advantage to the other social group. So these institutions directly enforce oppression, for example, religion. More privileges are given to one gender, less privileges are given to some of the other opposite gender. Some governments give highest prestige and privileges and rights and all kinds of advantages to only one particular gender. Education, the other gender is not allowed to take education because if, if the gender is being educated, then you ask for equal rights. Institutional laws favors only one gender. The other gender has not been represented in the institutional laws. The media controlled by only one gender or portrays only the things related to only one gender, they undermines the other things of or even healthcare system. Now, the significant aspect in anthropology is how a society and culture constructs these gender-based distinctions. Various social norms, men have to do like this, women should not do like this. And the roles assigned by the gender distinction, men are supposed to do this, women are like hunting, gathering, men go and hug, women take care of the kitchen, children, this kind of roles. Various rituals associated based on gender distinctions. Language, music, aesthetics and arts that reflect and reinforce that one gender is superior or one social group is superior, the other social group is inferior to the other. To summarize feminism in anthropology, feminist thinking in anthropology is fairly recently adopted into anthropological literature and feminist scholars are most interested in how the inequalities in a society can be addressed. What makes a particular gender, especially women as a social class and group, have been suffering and carrying the low social status in most of the societies? Feminist scholars, which are heavily influenced by feminist writings, from Europe have started questioning the body of anthropological knowledge which have been largely produced by male ethnographers, which has also been understood as androcentric. Feminism as a theory, feministic approach as a theory and a practice in anthropological ethnographic works informs us that one has to look into the subjective experiences of women who have been oppressed by various individual, institutional, cultural ways of oppression which makes to undermine their contributions towards the society. So feminist argument is not a simple argument or it is not a simple critique of the existing anthropological ethnographic works, but rather it takes on a multi-methodological approach in discovering various aspects of women's lives in many societies across the world.